Hello everyone, I'm Jumat and today we're going to do a Talia solo queue guide onto the mid lane with the new buffed Talia changes and we are going to be against Irelia which can be one of the hardest matchups possible for Talia even harder than... How to attack that man? Nice! Okay that's actually pretty great. So, I believe Irelia is the hardest matchup that you can play against because she is unkillable even with jungle ganks. Because she can just block your damage. But I suppose if she has no flash and we play relatively safe. Now you might, that's why I didn't pick Pantheon, is because I didn't have the first pick. Uh, I, I had the first pick, so I would pick before the Irelia. So, uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna try to throw a Q here. We're gonna see how it works now. There is a Xerath. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. I, I take that, I take that. So, we're going to play Tilia mid with Electro Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Futures Market, Time Warp Tonic, and this room stats with Armor. And we might go... We certainly will go for some early sustain if we need. But we will 100% die if we don't time out our spells correctly, and if no no ganks, and we somehow fail we might have a problem. Okay, so uh, this is the new Q radius that you see here. It's actually insane. I'm so freaking excited about it because uh, I really did not expect to be this small even though I've seen the pictures. Obviously, it's a, it's a quite a different feeling and I would go E. I want to go E, but eh, let's just say uh, we won't fight her unless no ganks. If no ganks then we will fight her but there is no point. We also were low HP enough because of the uh, Xerath. So we are trying to see today how the new changes work and I'm gonna try to proc an electrocute here. Excellent. So trades like that. Playing with electrocute I didn't go through the rooms, I didn't go to the build mainly because of those early fights that we took. And also because I need to pay insane attention, that's nice, insane attention to the Irelia and also to the Xin. So I'm going towards here, I'm going with the Rengar, maybe we find something here. That's amazing. Just take this. I doubt I can have it. So yeah, that, that's one fine. So for items, I will go for either Ludens or Everfrost into Sorg Shoes or Sorg Shoes before them into some tankiness perhaps because they really can nuke me. Both lanes seems to win as well, so this goes great. And I expect any freaking moment now you really have to jump on me. And I, that's why I'm staying like this. I lost the wave there. Uh, because I went for that green kill and we are ahead on top, on bot, on jungle, so this goes great, really. Nuno doesn't gang me because he knows that he doesn't have to if his team is winning and even if he would have to, it's still bad to try to, I lost that, still try, it's still bad to try to gank a Talia against an Irelia, it's just, okay, he comes now. I can just auto attack her to that. Just get her. I died, man. So that's in. That's why you don't fight her because she can murder you easily. And now she will. Yep. It's my fault. But it's also. Why do you ping? Just ping when you're close, please. He pinged when he was here. I know it takes a while for him to reach, but still. Uh, whatever, we're going to try. See, that's why the matchup is hard, because even if you're close to getting a kill, she can just melt you. And now, I will probably run it if I'm not careful, so... Uh, practically, we have to pay some attention to that. I'm behind this, yes, but that's normal. 
things. Your relay is missing. I'm going here to see if Xin is doing that. It's not. Push that into the tower. We cannot get a kill on the Aurelia under any circumstance. He shouldn't try. He shouldn't even try. Okay, I think we get a free... We get a free Drake. And the guy is missing. If he goes to... The... No, no, there isn't much I can do. I'm gonna get that. The small circle though is pretty damn amazing. We should get this for free. The Rela is bought. I think that she left. Can't do more than that. She flashed. She didn't even flash before. Oh yeah, because she had it. So we get the Drake there. And she also ignites it. So you're just gonna recall that. The Rome actually gave me a bit of room to escape. And... I'm not sure what's happening here. He escaped. That's great. I want to go for this. Because I think he's going to be dived. So I'm just gonna ping this if you can defend. I can ult here. I can definitely ult here. Nah. Okay, we protect the plates. We go mid. We don't let him get plates. I might be surprised by that. The Aurelia is certainly bought. So that's a roaming Aurelia if I ever seen one. Oh, no, she's here. It's fine. Want well, that, but she's going to close in on me. This is hard, man. I, I hate it. It's hard. I had to go for the orb first, even though I had lost chapter. That's nice. This is how you have to play this matchup. Look, I hit it once and now it really is full build, practically. And she can do whatever she wants now. And I'm dead. Well... That's a sum that I got. She got out of me for free, but it's okay to do so. It's I'm not going to. I didn't die. That's great. So I'm going for the book. I don't have any sustain. We have to kill some Kaiser. Two kills on Irelia, but Irelia doesn't really scale that well. The only problem will be the Kyle eventually, because Israel kind of matches, so we are in a decent spot. And yeah, I didn't go through the runes. Oh no. I thought I would die there. If she wanted to, she could have killed me. So for the runes, as I said, we go for those runes. Uh, we use them mainly to provide the early game fights. Okay. We could have gone on to this with the Rengar ult. No. Well, hit it. Alright. Well, we did get the kill onto that, so that's pretty good. Also dodging that. Yep, that went excellent for us. I entered early on, but that went excellent for us, and we have now... We have now a gank, we have now a mountain, so we're in a good spot, I'm thinking if I should go, yeah, I certainly should go for this, and I don't have space for potions. So we got the trade, I have now a bounty, I will have exhaust, he can actually keep the level gap, I will 
get closer to the Aurelia, I think she will get the plate here. I'm gonna think that she's missing. If she doesn't get the plate, she's horrible. Like, really? I didn't get anything, right? I'm going there if they fight. Because our teammates survive much more. where there she freezes. I shouldn't care about the freeze because I do not play mid at all, at least for this game. Mid lane is irrelevant to me. And there is an Irela that's coming. Oh, get that. Dodge. She's still... Alright. Irela can kill us all here, but I do have... I do have the exhaust, which is an insane thing to use. Please, don't leave me. You have flash. You could get the free kill. I know I didn't have the... Uh, this disappoints me. At least we get the kill on that. Man, you still have flash. Get the kill, that's free, right? That's that's dead. Oh, minions. Nice. You could still kill flash. But oh! Is he gonna live? What? Oh. So the exhaust does the thing, as you can see, even though uh, I cannot really do much against the Aurelia on lane, uh, I can pretty much guarantee to live through and to cast it in time so that I deny her burst. I need someone to break the push. Oh, wow. Well. That's, that's handy. I really need someone to break the push. Practically a push break is when your jungler comes to help you move this. Because she can dash to the minions, right? So she can get to me easily. But if I go when there is no minion that's dying, right, like this, I can break the push. Now she's ahead in levels. That doesn't bother me. Again, the gold is on Ezreal and Rengar. That's what we focus on. That's what we care about. I didn't. A bit. But the... Why did you ping me? What? What is that? No, 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 no. Can't do more than this. I'm going here. Never mind, I'm going here. Sort of hinting gameplay, sort of decent, but I can do much better than this, I'm sure. Yes, I see that. It's this he pings danger because those are his dash points. I go like this because they're exact Uh, no, leave me, leave me to die. Leave me to die. No, why, why are they... You could kill him. Oh, come on. That's just... Insane, man. Luckily, the guy on Xin is... Oh, my God. This goes terrible. If I had the gold... Could have done more. Well, she did get something. And we do break a lot more than just this. I could go here. I don't have alt. I should go here. And 
that Rengar, Fed Rengar just tilts me to be honest because it's broken. But we did misplay there. Didn't calculate for the Aurelia Flash. Now I have everything. Oh! I can catch that. I'm pretty sure I can catch that. There's also an Ezreal ult which might hit him. Did I hit him? Uh. Well, the game could go better, that's clear for me. I did that mid game fight where it mattered. I don't want to attribute the bad gameplay to the actual uh, tiredness, but it could be a factor. I get that. Instantly one shot, it's almost. Huh? Also got the uh, boots. The circle is amazing, though. The size of the circle, it's it's really something to behold. Because now you can position yourself much better at times. And it's much simpler to deal with stuff. And also the exhaust kind of works amazing into the Irelia. <laughs> Wasn't she like 2-1 or 2-0? Did I read that wrong? Did we kill her that many times? Now we see Irelia there, right? With exhaust, we can practically escape anyone. I missed that because I was thinking if the guy is in the bush. Now we have this. There is no need to stress to try to dive deeper. There is a. Oh. I didn't exhaust there. Okay. Oh! This for free though. I can just get this. There is absolutely no way for them to deal with it. And I do not have mana for big kills, but look how spammy this is, man, it's fun. <laughs> The cooldown also got reduced. What? Oh, we got the flash. I have mana and the mana region is insanely slow. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Okay. There is a Xera that I might get. This is certainly not worth it. Maybe he was around there, maybe not. One good thing that could come out of this, however, would be that scuttle. I'd like that, so I'm going straight there. This is the second one I take. And this is amazing, the blue buff that Nuno doesn't need, it's insanely good on me, I see really. If someone comes, then sure, I'll go there. I can see her. Get a lot of experience. Oh my god, I always fail that. Rengar got the Aurelia and she got instantly murdered because Rengar is very far ahead. Xerath. <laughs> what? Okay, there's a the Kyle ult. soon be in the game. Uh, I am close to not being in the game because I will lose my early game utility. Although being against the hardest champ, hardest matchup was decent and it stopped missing cannons. Yeah, Xerath is kinda running it. If Irelia comes here, she can actually kill both of us. It's straight up easy kills for her. Oh, come on. That's just annoying. It's the third time she flashes. 
we just get these two. Get these. It's fine, we give cold skills to Aurelia. It's fine, I say, because we have a Karma that denies her. We have the exhaust that denies her. We have the Ezreal exhaust that denies her. Rengar E, Nunu CC. Nunu doesn't need help against her. Rengar doesn't need help against her. So, if our front line, uh, for back line, me and our bot just stay securely on the map, like together, there, there is no way we lose this. Also, Karma is insanely strong. Now, I hope for for any reason, not really have to be around here. I'm just gonna work it here. I can do that. Am I exhausted? Now, Aurelius have the syndrome where they never actually... Oh, come on. They never actually stop from jumping. If Ezreal hits a Q here... He could have gone onto that! says it's true. Nunu went for the backline and that was actually bad because he into there he got caught their backline just hit him I, I mean he bought time for us this build gives me pain holy moly this build also same no mythics man on everyone please don't get caught randomly oh no if I catch that... Okay. Okay. Free. Free soul, free baron. Just gonna stay here and wait for the Xerath to come. Alright. The karma damage is actually fun. What was that? We get this for free as well. I don't have exhaust now. Kyle is level 13. Someone will come here, but kind of hope to get this before they do. Because if I don't, I'll just end. I think I have enough gold now. Just recall here. Yep, the calculations were correct. Okay. We can before Kyle is level 16, that will be our goal. I like the fact that I have Nunu. I think going for these two runes is good when you have a jungler that it's not uh, needing blue. So if you have AP jungle, that's most likely gonna need blue, but in rest, I think you could go for it. I'd like... Okay, we go for this. Okay. That's slightly disappeared. Man, please don't. What are you doing back? Okay, we got the kill there too. We have exhaust. We have an Irela that might be flanking us. But we don't care. We can get two towers. Dodge that. Plant an E so that no one can jump on us. I 
I did cast an E there, but... Okay, get the tower, get two towers, Karma doesn't have... What's the ult for? Rango. We can still lose, if we don't end here, we can still lose. for the magic band. I lift for much. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Great. And, and. I'd like maybe a stopwatch so that I can jump into them. Can I go for both of these? How much do I need? Sell the orb to have both of these ready. We're doing some quick science there, but as five and five sixteen. You can see the pressure. Yes. You can see the pressure that I put. We could probably end mid. I could. I could just hold in. Okay, that's a problem. That's certainly a problem. So it old. Please don't fight there when I push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. I block Nono here. But it's fine. Okay, and then, 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 then. Get that, and end the game. They can't get level 16, so I think we're done. It's done. Something. I played horrible at times, but that eventually worked. So, the new Q change is amazing. The exhaust works well in this kind of matchups. The Electrocut early game does its job, and we did like the build that we used. Uh, the early executioner into Eurelia is again not a good thing. So, we could use the buffs. The buffs uh, will do her good on mid, and I believe I like them. I, I love them actually, but I hope that these buffs won't lead to some nerfs in some other areas because Riot has a tendency to do so. But then again, Riot has a tendency to do so only if she becomes S tier, which I don't think she is. Uh, but this, uh, there is, there are a lot of, uh, how do you call them, tier, rate, tier lists that put her at S tier, but I don't believe this tier list are made by people that know how to actually play at above master steer elo and so i guess uh unless we see her having a 52 percent plus win rate on mid and a lot of players picking her and we see her maybe in pro player in high elo uh for example a us grandmaster challenger then maybe yes but unless that happens she ain't going to be s plus tier s tier on mid she's probably around a tier and uh maybe around actually b plus low a minus tier and otps make her make be like otps playing her good make her be at least a a plus if you are good i hope or i think so so that would be the logic see you next time and have a wonderful day or night wherever you are thank you